This is my version of a lamb kofta. I keto fry it a little bit. You can eat it over a salad or in some keto wraps. The recipe for this will be in the description. But anyways, enough with the talking, let's get it made. So let's make the sauce. You should make this ahead of time. Start with a cup of yogurt. And then a tablespoon of olive oil. Teaspoon of cumin. Tablespoon of lemon juice. And quarter teaspoon of salt and pepper. And one clove of crushed garlic. Mix it up. And then cover it with plastic wrap and stick it in the fridge for at least two hours. Okay, onto the spices. Get all your spices together, grate half an onion and, a, and garlic in food processor or use a grater, it's up to you. There are breadcrumbs in this recipe. And before the keto police shows up, a quarter cup of panko breadcrumbs is only 11 carbs, so that's about less than one carb per one kofta. And don't forget to chop at least a cup of cilantro. I know some people hate it, but it's good. Anyways, let's get into the meats. For the meats, I use 500 grams of lamb and 500 grams of veal, but you can choose whatever you like. If you don't like lamb, don't use lamb. Now put in your onions and garlic mix, throw in your spices and cilantro and the keto police panko breadcrumbs, but you don't have to put it in, it's up to you. Now mix it all well, uh, maybe 3-4 minutes, just make sure it's all incorporated. And yes, your hands will get dirty, but come on, you're cooking, get used to it. Not gonna lie, I had some help in the kitchen by my little helper. Okay, onto the shaping, get yourself a cookie scooper, and I'm just using two scoops per kofta. Shape them well, you can put them on a stick if you want, if you want to barbecue it, it's up to you. Um, but make sure you make these sort of shapes on it, off it, or whatever you like, maybe you like making it into balls, I don't know. It's you cooking, not me. I'm just giving you the recipe. Out of 2 pounds of meat, I got 14 kofta, so if you think about these breadcrumbs I put in earlier, it really is like 0.7 of carb per kofta, and how many are you going to eat? 2, 3 maybe? So really, it's nothing, but if you really don't want these carbs, don't put it in, uh, but I'm telling you, it, it is better with these breadcrumbs. When done, I recommend putting them in the fridge for at least 30 minutes. Alright, onto the grilling. You can use a barbecue or whatever you want, I like using this grilling pan, it works well, and it retains heat for a while, so medium high heat. Uh, cook them for at least five to six minutes per side. I cook them on all four sides. You want to make sure this meat is cooked right through. As you can see, I'm flipping it on all sides. And this extra char flavor is going to give you so much more flavor. I can't even tell you. These things are amazing. And like I said, you can barbecue these things if you like. You can even bake them in the oven. I would suggest maybe under the grill, but you know, I think on a pan. Especially a grilling pan like this would be the best because you get the most flavor well if you don't count the barbecue method. So yeah, that's the recipe. You can eat it on your favorite salad or you can put it in a low carb wraps like I mentioned earlier. You can eat, even eat them on their own. But don't forget the most important part of this whole recipe is that yogurt sauce that we made earlier. Just slather it all over those kebabs. That yogurt sauce is really really good especially if it was sitting in the fridge for a while. And you don't have to cook all of them, you can actually put them on a the parchment paper and you can freeze them so you can make them in the future. Just make sure the next day you put them in a bag so they don't get freezer burned. That's it, you make kofta. Now go enjoy it.